This upcoming video is an interview with Devereaux McClatchy. Devereaux McClatchy was a lifelong resident of Ansley Park. His father, Devereaux McClatchy Sr., uh, was a key politician in Georgia uh, in both the uh, state house and also the state senate. He was also a key friend of the different governors of Georgia. Uh, and when the governor's mansion was in Ansley Park, uh, Devereaux McClatchy Sr. was responsible for coming up with the idea of Christmas lights uh, that became a key part of the attraction of many people to come into Ansley Park. People came to look at Devereaux McClatchy's Christmas lights, and there were something like 40,000 Christmas lights, uh, and they would come from Chattanooga, from Florida. Uh, the Atlanta police had to set up separate uh, uh, police protection uh, in order to control the crowds that were coming into uh, Ansley Park right around uh, the uh, area where McClatchy Park is now on uh, Park Lane. Uh, but Devereaux McClatchy uh, was in his own way the person who was very involved in the Atlanta School Board uh, and keeping or trying to keep the schools open during the 1950s uh, when there was a real effort to close schools in the wake of Brown versus Board of Education if any one of the schools was integrated in the state. Devereaux McClatchy is a person who devoted his life both to the city of Atlanta uh, and to Ansley Park. Uh, and while his recollections are somewhat frayed by his age, uh, I think you'll enjoy listening to someone who was a key participant in making Ansley Park what it is today. My father was with the Southern Bell, and uh, he got interested in uh, well, first he got interested in the park, park over here. The park was in Cochrane Park, but uh, due to his interest and in improvements in the park, the council renamed the park McClatchy Park. That's what it's been since. The council in making a lot of improvements out there, the signs and then cleaning it up. And the boat. we used to have a little pond down the bottom. Uh, it was about three feet deep, but we all went swimming in it anyway. Sometimes we got a head hurt, but diving. I dived off two, two uh, benches into that little pond once. Finally, they did away with the pond, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, what I, I was talking about the Christmas lights, I think they were one of the great things that he did. The Georgia Powell had a contest in 28. Uh, it had, they hadn't had a contest before. Contest for the prize Christmas lights. And people all over Atlanta put, had used Christmas lights. But my father uh, got a lot of uh, additional equipment uh, and that, Three, four, five years we had the lights, and uh, they included not only lights on the houses, this house and the next, his house, uh, but also we wound up finally with a Sandy a tray going uh, from a tree, big tree out, out there, over to his roof. And uh, the thing was so sensational that people came from all over the world to see it, they say. It was, it was really something. And uh, they had to have several policemen when they had it on. The traffic got jammed up, and everybody had a good time. We, uh, we had the lights a number of years, several years. Finally, he died. And we gave the lights equipment to the governor's mansion. Ellis Arnold was governor. They had them for two or three years. Now, I don't know what finally we came in, and then that equipment wore out. But that was one of the sensational things. For many years, he was uh, first started when he was a young man. He started off as reading clerk in the house. And uh, after several years, he 
ran for it and was elected secretary of the state senate. And that was that. Uh, you can see how, since he was in the telephone company, those two mayors raised together. He knew all the people in either house, and he was there for many years. Actually, I was a I was a page over there for no years when I was started when I was five. There's a picture in the library of it. But I was a page for several years. Then after that, I was reading clerk and one thing or another. I was I worked over there too. Uh, my father got in bad health in his late fifties, and he died shortly after that. Well, it was just a nice place to live, uh, uh, and a reasonable house. It's not tremendous. But about the size of this house, lot, lots of places to live. And uh, it was a, a new area, and uh, it, it, it took fail uh, with people. It, it provided in-town uh, schools and uh, markets. I remember as a boy playing out in the street. It wasn't paid then. Uh, I remember throwing at the bats. You know, if you ever throw at a bat, you throw a bat and the bat chases the, the stone. We boys had a lot of fun. There was a, a fellow who lived over across the park. I remember who uh, had an electric car. You know, I remember an electric, and uh, I remember he would ride it around, drive it around, and he was kind of ashamed of it. So whenever he saw any of us, he would duck down so nobody could see he was driving. We probably lived here as long as most anybody, I guess. But somebody, we didn't build a house next door. Somebody else lived in it for a while, a few years. And that's where I, well, I, where I was when I went to spring, to uh, school, uh, grammar school. <laughs>